Hi everyone, in this video I'll share 5 different tips that might help you in your future projects. This full scene is available on Patreon by the way. So I have this glass profile that I will revolve and in order to have an inside selection to create the liquids I can at this point save that range of points making sure I resemble to get the points properly sorted and with the range save out an inside group. And after having the glass geometry, I can still access that group and promote it to primitives so I'm able to extract the liquid geometry. Now let's have a look at flow maps to create the liquid effect. You should be aware that this flow map visualize node has a bug if you try to use the viewport shader, but in our case we will use the vertex color. Also setting the flow map mode from color previously created and for the diffuse texture, I'm loading a custom generator from COPS. It's a VOP COP generator that uses a noise with another one distorting the position, which comes from the X and Y position of the generator. Feeding the noise to a ramp and from the outside adding some blue colors. Then we can copy the notepad with Ctrl C and paste it in the diffuse texture along with the OP syntax to import from COPS. And as we are using the flow map mode as color, there's this point warp generating a noise to control the pattern. Finally, we can keep it animated or just place a time shift with the desired frame to render. Ok, let's see how to easily create the umbrella effect. I am starting with the UVs, in this case we want them in a circular pattern to place the stripes. So for that we can use the polar projection, promoting the UVs to a point attribute since we want to use them in a point vop. And in there it's really simple just using a stripes node and again a turbulent noise to the distort the U attribute. You can play with the amount of stripes and widths. And in another point vop I'm just displacing the points with the color from the previous one. Continuing on the umbrella, I'm saving out a position attribute to use in Solaris, so I can orient the textures properly. As you can see, I'm rotating and transforming the umbrella, and that way I can't have precise control over the rotation of the texture. As you can see, I'm using the Karma Tri Planner to texture the toothpick, and if I remove these nodes, I get the wrong orientation. That's why I'm using the previously saved position plus a rotate 3D set to rotate 90 degrees along the Z axis. In this case, since we are doing a transformation inside Solaris, you might already assume it's rotated. And you can replace the custom position attribute just by the material X position node. Ok, as the final tip, let me show you how I created the ice cubes. I extracted the top patch from the liquid and extruded it to create the collision geometry. Created a simple distorted cube and I will emit them using the RBD solver. I am also using the RBD configure to create packed prims and set the collision geometry to a box. Set some initial random roll and in this wrangle for every 5th frame and before frame 72 emit geometry. And finally, you can cache out a resting frame. So that's basically it, a bunch of random tips, but that I thought might be useful and worth sharing. The file will be available on Patreon if you want to have a look too. Thank you and see you soon.